In number three in your class check for intro to 3D solids, we want to use the figures that we used in question two in order to prove that uh, Euler and Euler's theorem is true. Uh, so uh, for our first uh, pentagonal or, or oblique prism, uh, we have uh, vertices that we want to count up first. Uh, so we have uh, five vertices up top for the top pentagon and uh, five for the bottom. So we have a total of 10 vertices. Uh, plus, uh, counting up the faces, we have five faces around, plus the two for the top and bottom, so that makes seven faces, uh, equal to uh, our edges. So we wrote our edges uh, before. Uh, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, then we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 uh, edges plus two, and uh, we see that uh, the right uh, and left hand side uh, both simplify to 17, uh, so this is true. Uh, now over to uh, B, we have uh, for our vertices, we have uh, seven vertices at our base, uh, plus one at uh, the uh, tip of the pyramid, so we have a total of eight vertices plus uh, for faces, we have uh, seven faces all around, plus uh, one at the base, so that's also eight, uh, equals uh, edges. We can count up from our table here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 uh, edges, plus two. Uh, so we can also see that this simplifies to 16 on the left and 16 on the right, uh, which is true. And for part C, uh, we have uh, for our vertices, uh, we have one, two, three, four vertices at the front, and one, two, three, four vertices at the back. So we have eight in total, plus uh, we have uh, one face at the front, one face at the back, plus four around. So we have uh, six faces uh, equals uh, the number of uh, edges. So we can count it up from our table. We have one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 uh, edges, plus 2, and both of these sides uh, will simplify to 14. So we proved that Euler's theorem is true for uh, all the solids.